been so worrying in the health fraternity for the past two weeks. Eh? We've had so many reports. Well, Johannesburg Charlotte Matlaika Hospital was affected by a water outage in the early hours of Monday morning. Now, the report says that was due to insufficient supply and high water demand. I mean, for a hospital that's got 7 million litres of water storage capacity. Mm. Water tankers were deployed to assist the Department of Health, says uh, that uh, the water was restored yesterday. But the DA's Jack Bloom says the impact of this was dire. So I think, you know, you could have all the systems in place, but if there isn't the, the right people to direct them, this is the sort of thing that happens. And let me tell you how devastating this was. They actually lost uh, two days' worth of, uh, of uh, non-emergency surgery. You know, some people have been waiting for, up, you know, years, in fact, to have an operation. You arrive there and they cancel the operation because there's no water. Now tell me, how does a hospital operate without water? I mean, hygiene is number one priority for a hospital. And, and here the risk of infection shoots up, uh, toilets weren't working. Uh, it was a calamity. Dialysis patients had to be sent to a, another hospital. Uh, they couldn't take any new patients. So, so really we need to jack up the, the management of our hospitals. We need to make sure that they have all alternative measures in place and make sure that our hospitals uh, are, are least affected by the water cuts that I'm afraid seem to be becoming a norm. I visited Schadenbrecher yesterday and uh, it, it was still uh, taking some time to restore a, a full supply. Uh, uh, I was told that the, the water is dirty and they had to use uh, uh, buckets to, to flush toilets. So, it, you know, it's not quite over even at that hospital. But uh, uh, unfortunately, Rand water problems are going to be with us for some time. So uh, we need to take special precautions with hospitals, but we must make sure that there's uh, proper top management that knows what to do when there's a crisis. I think that uh, they were caught napping at the Sharpenknecke Johannesburg Hospital. Uh, I don't think those water tanks were full.